All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back. We're two weeks in a row now making a video on a Wednesday at that. Not even a day late. Well, so far, anyway. Um, it's been a been a pretty good week. It, uh, let's see. I played a lot of Pokemon Go this weekend. They released the new legendary, um, the legendary dogs from like the second generation, um, Raikou, Suicune, and Entei. They released uh, Raikou for our region, uh, so Samantha and I have been kind of running around. We each caught a bunch of them, and yeah, that was that. Um, I got a new backpack here. Uh, this is it. No one seems to really like it. I kind of like it, but I don't know. I'll let, I'll, I'll let like you guys tell me, do you like it, do you not like it? Anyway, today we are going to be talking about a brand new topic, obviously, because it is a new week. So today's topic is going to be full-time money-making YouTube-ness. And uh, basically, what it would take for, in my opinion, someone to go full-time video-making on YouTube and you know what is the scary aspects of that what are the awesome aspects of that and just all around you know what i think of it so let's start off with what it would take for me personally to become a full-time youtuber well one millions of dollars like millions of saved up dollars would be an amazing start um, but obviously that's probably not going to be the case so what would it take for me to be a full-time youtuber so the first thing to understand about youtube is the money you get from youtube is not all yours when you get that and tax time comes up pretty much take half of that money and give it to the government it is gone it is not yours it will never be yours half of that money is gone the minute you get it and that's how you should treat any money you get from the internet whether it be donations subscription money like in twitch uh there's patreon money which i do patreon on the side but i don't do it majorly right now but i did do it for a little while um and there's ad monetization money and all that as income is like the government just sees that and they're like money it's theirs you know they like drool over that money because they get half of it essentially when tax season comes around you fill out a special i think it's like a w9 form or something like that and you take that to your tax representative you have to if you make over to 600 dollars a year by the way if you make less than 600 don't worry about it if you make over 600 dollars in a year based off donations stuff like that then yeah half of that essentially gets taken away by the government because taxes it's just how they are now granted these are tax rules for the u.s because that's where i live if you live over in europe then i don't know maybe they give you a hug or something if you live in canada they say sorry and then they take it and anywhere else in the world there's maybe no taxes i don't know so yeah that that's a big thing to take in right there half of the money you get from youtube let's say based on ad revenue is taken away and that's one thing you have to like keep in mind when you're considering do i want to quit my job and go full-time video making do i even want to commit to full-time video making should i commit to it um and for me the magic number would be about probably five thousand dollars and the reason for that is i think in order su to support yourself for a base minimum um a, a month that is living on your own paying for groceries paying for all your bills you need about two thousand five hundred dollars a month and that's to also add to a savings account and pay loans off as well now granted you might be doing all this perfectly fine with less money you might be doing it not okay with more money this is just based on my spending habits so two thousand five hundred dollars double that and you get five grand so if I'm making five grand a month or more off YouTube and it's been consistent for about a year, I would personally feel pretty comfortable quitting my job and dedicating full time to YouTube um, because I'd be able to save money, pay my bills and give half of my life money away. I mean, to uh, taxes and the government. So that, that's what it would take for me to become a full-time YouTuber, and that's just the money aspect of it. Besides getting over the fear of committing to a platform that is not stable, and what I mean by that is one week you could be on top of YouTube, you could be the best YouTuber on YouTube. The next week you could lose it all, you know, you might not be as popular one week. Fads, you know, they come and go, trends and stuff. It's the same thing for YouTubers, you are a trend. Eventually, you ride the wave up if you're a trending trend, and then you ride the wave down once someone else takes your trend away. Um, and that's one, you have to get over that like fear of, 
you know, in order to make the jump to full time and quit your day job, you have to be willing to accept that at one point you've committed to a career that is not going to, that may not last forever um, or even long at all. And now someone's going to counter argument, well, you could get fired from your job, you know, you could lose your job over something dumb. And yes, that is true. Jobs tend to last a lot longer than the average YouTuber's career, though. I could stay at this job as long as I'm not dumb and do something stupid to get myself fired, like making YouTube videos at work. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Um, I will, could essentially have this job for as long as the company is around unless something drastic with the company happens. And even then, I could go and apply for another job relatively quick within about a week or so. I can't make another YouTube channel and have it take off again within a week. It's just not possible, it's not gonna happen, especially if your, your knack or your niche or whatever has died out from your first YouTube channel. You just, it's kinda discouraging, you know, you don't really wanna get back into the game right away. Some people, yeah, you jump right back into the game and it's all for you and you just keep plowing away at it. Um, I, I'm a living example of that, you know, I haven't really made it on anything and I've kind of been kicked around a little bit on some of these, uh, some of these, but I keep going, you know, hey, maybe something will take off. I've gone from gaming on YouTube to gaming on Twitch to making vlogs on YouTube to making these videos on YouTube, it's discussion videos on YouTube. Those were, those were terrible. Videos. I mean, I enjoyed them, but the making that it was a bit too much of a commitment for me. Anyway. anyway, anyway. So now another thing that comes up is how does your video making process stand? Like right now, I'm a weekly YouTuber. I want to say I make a video once a week, and then I put it out there, and that that's it. I make one video a week, you know, and that determines if I had an income off YouTube. That would determine it. Now I could increase my number of videos every week and I might get more money because it's more videos and if they are getting the same amount of views, that's great. And that's that's where daily vloggers, we talked about this um, last week. Uh, daily vloggers produce daily vlogs of like random shit sometimes that no one wants to watch because it gets 1.5 million views. For example, Roman Atwood, great YouTuber, I love him. But some of his vlogs you can definitely tell are like pushed. He, you know, he really doesn't have anything he's doing that day. His family's just kind of chilling around and they're pushed videos. And he does it because, you know, when you get 1.5 million views or even like 1 million views, sometimes 500, even 500,000 views a video, that's a lot of income every day. You know, that's not a little bit. That's almost, I, I don't know, if my math is right and if what I know from YouTube ad revenue is right, that I want to say that's in the ballpark of two grand a video. I could be wrong and I probably am, but let's estimate, say, two grand a video for 500,000 views. Um, that's a lot every day. You know, you're making some serious bank every day off that. And shit, if I was making that, yeah, you guys would be getting me eating eggs every day. What I'm trying to get here is with your revenue, when you're set at a, if you're making daily videos every day and your income is based on that and then all of a sudden one day you're like, oh, you know, this is a lot. Maybe I want to go down to like two or even one video a week because the weekly thing's just not cutting it for me anymore. There goes like a big portion of your income. Now I would hope at that point you have a lot of views and you can sustain yourself and it's not gonna be a major hit, but that's gonna be a pretty big hit. So you basically just prepare for something like a burnout to happen at some point, you know? And, and that does happen at work. People get burnt out of work, but you get vacation days and stuff like that and sick days where they pay you for your day off. If, I, if you are making a video every day and you're getting paid by that, and you don't get paid and you don't make a video for that day you don't get paid for that day another another big thing to kind of keep in mind when you're making videos is how long your videos are going to be popular for if you're a gamer and you specify in a specific video game let's say um arc survival or like minecraft or what's another league of legends how long are those games going to be top contenders or the top games on YouTube. You know, how long are those videos gonna be popular? How long are you gonna be popular making those videos? You know, until people are like, oh, I don't wanna watch them anymore. Minecraft's a great example of this. Minecraft videos were the top videos on YouTube for a long time. They were the top game on Twitch for a long time, or at least in the top five. You know, 
now it's not you know a lot of minecraft youtubers are no longer making minecraft videos or they've stopped making videos in general a lot of minecraft streamers have completely dropped minecraft streaming um a whole new audience has kind of taken over with less views you know that's one thing to keep in mind with youtube you know how long are your videos going to be the top trending thing or the top or even just get it garnering you you know 30,000 views 100,000 views 500,000 views how long will that continue until people are like oh this new type of video is great a good example on YouTube is vlogging now vlogging started out kind of small you know there's only a few people that did it on YouTube and then it kind of grew into this big thing and it hit its peak I want to say with Casey Neistat um, everybody knows who he is if you don't go YouTube him. Great YouTuber. Um, he kind of took vlo daily vlogging and vlogging in general and just blew it up. It was the biggest thing. That was what you wanted to watch on YouTube was vlogs. You know, I still watch, uh, I still watch Roman Atwood and Casey. Um, I think there's one other I can't think of off the top of my head that I watch. Um, you know, but they're not the biggest thing on YouTube anymore. It's, you know, those they, they aren't big anymore. You know, vlogging's still there, but it's more like um, entertainment videos are kind of becoming a thing now. Like, um, I know Demolition Ranch is a pretty big one that right now. Um, Casey's still big, but he does like random like videos. They're not so much daily vlogs. They're like like he just did one on the Hurricane Harvey that hit. He did like a whole coverage video type thing of that. You know, it's more topic videos I want to say right now, and what's and current like news videos and stuff like that. I'm like what's going on, opposed to daily life videos. And, uh, you know, that, that big swing that came in, you know, a lot of people were daily vlogging and vlogging and those were the big things and people were raking in money and now people are like, I don't want to watch daily vlogs anymore. I don't want to watch vlogs anymore. I want to watch just videos about, that are like topic based, you know, or like the specific type of entertainment, you know, and they don't want to watch it. And then all those people that were gaining all those views and uh, money from vlogging are no longer gaining that. And they're like, what happened? And maybe they quit their job or maybe they fully dedicated all their time to making those videos and got like a sub job or something instead of a core, you know, like career job. And now they're kind of, they might be regretting it. You never know. So it's a lot of stuff that you have to take in consideration. YouTube money is a very scary but big place. You know, you can really make it big on YouTube. You can make tons of money on YouTube if you do it right and if you follow your gut and if you're really passionate about making videos. You can also get screwed over really well if you're not careful with your finances, I want to say. You know, make sure you're committed and make sure you're secure before you quit a job and go full time. Um, maybe keep a part-time job. You know, my plan has always been if I were to, if I were to ever make it big on Twitch or YouTube, that I would get a part-time job doing something like I used to do. I used to work at a golf course. I would do something like that, you know, three days a week maybe, and then the rest of my time would be videos and that. That way I still had some income trickling in from a more secure source that's not gonna ditch me overnight. And then I'd have my main income from making videos until that kind of went, it went away. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little insight into, you know, for some of you, if you are big on YouTube or you're getting to that point, I hope this kind of helps you make that decision if you're about to or if you're up in the air. Um, I kind of hope it gives you some ideas to think about before you make that commitment. I know if I ever look back on this video, if I'm about to make that decision, I sure as hell hope this helps me. Uh, but who knows, we may see that. We may never see that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, keep being awesome. I'll see you guys in next week's video. And uh, yeah, bye.